Good morning, Saurabh. Great to see you again and looking forward to our new upcoming webinar. And I think the key thing we're going to be speaking about is how should you holistically think about your Salesforce org security? So what do you think about that, Saurabh? That's a great question. And Doug, you and I have done a lot of collaboration in this space, and we find that a lot of customers could benefit from this sort of a framework around how do you think holistically about your org security? So it boils down into four key steps. First and foremost is the ability to assess your org. There is a lot of incredibly great tools, and I know you're going to dive into a lot of them in our webinar. So things like org health check, communities health check, a lot of other tools that some of them are free, some of them are paid, but you have the ability to dive in and assess where you are, what's the state of your application, what's the state of your data. So you want to have that broader level of understanding. And that understanding that guides you into the second portion of it, which is around securing your application. And what we mean by that is all the things that Doug, you and Platinum 7 specializes in, which is around how do you ensure that your code is secure? How do you ensure that your user access is appropriate? How do you ensure that your integrations are secure and they don't have any extensive privileges more than that they need? And finally, how do you make sure that your configuration is done right? So that's all that you want to look at in securing your application security. The third part of this is securing your data. And what you want to do there is you want to ensure that you only have data that is relevant and needed and you have legal reasons to keep it. You want to automate retention. You want to make sure you don't have real data spread everywhere in all kinds of sandboxes, which is around sandbox data masking. You also want to ensure that if you need to do things like shield data encryption, you have those in place. So these things together combined help you secure your data. And final portion of this is to increase the security awareness. Security is a never ending business because the threat vectors keep on changing, the kind of breach keep on changing, social engineering hacks keep on dramatically changing and they have significant impact, particularly we have seen in Australia and New Zealand and in a lot of other countries around the world. And what you want to do is that awareness needs to happen. It needs to happen at the level of people like you and me who are the Salesforce owners and professionals in this space. So if you're a Salesforce admin, developer, an architect, Salesforce has an incredible treasure trove of things to help us come up to speed on best practices in coding, on best practices in security. There are super badges and other things we're going to talk in the webinar about. The other part of this is your end users. There are trainings for them, again, through Trailhead and other resources where you want to make sure they understand the impact. Because at the end of the day, a vast majority of security risks that we encounter can often be attributed to user errors and users being tricked into doing something that they shouldn't have done. So again, kind of wrapping it up, you want to have assess your org, you want to secure your application, you want to secure your data, and you want to continually increase awareness and make sure that this circle goes on. That's fantastic, Saurabh. And I think that's a very good approach, making sure that you understand what you have understand how you're going to fix it, fix it, and then learn more about what you need to think about in the future. I think those four pieces in a circle is a very virtuous circle and look forward to speaking with people on the webinar and hope, hopefully there'll be a lot of questions and interest us as well, because it's always fun hearing questions from the audience. Absolutely. And I would echo what you just said, Doug. Please let us know, comment, reach out to Doug or me and let us know if there are specific use cases or questions that you have and you'd like to see us cover there. Thank you so much. Thanks very much.